result is clearly not up to my expectations, guys. It isn't catastrophic, but when you've got victory in mind, it's obviously a disappointment. We retain the green jersey. At least that's something. Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2020 playthrough with Team Ineos. And today it is time for stage number 19 after a really frustrating stage number 18 where we were looking to gain some time on Rogelik and Fuglesang. And really we did the contrary. Uh, we did really well with Egan Bernal but ultimately due to earlier failings in the Tour, uh, going all the way back if we can... Uh, that's going to take too long. It's going to take too long, so we won't bother. Um, but if you remember, if you've watched the whole series, going all the way back to stage number two, uh, unfortunately, Bernal was involved in being about 13 minutes behind, and, and that's really destroyed his Tour de France from the start. But he did really well. The main man, however, was Grant Thomas for that yellow jersey in the general classification, and we lost even more time to Roger Leek and Fuglesang, and I think that... In hindsight, we did some things that were a little bit stupid, maybe attacking where we shouldn't have done. Really, we should have just kept cosy inside the peloton. But I think, as most of us believe in the last few months, with things that have happened around the world, hindsight is indeed a wonderful thing. Um, but, again, we move on to stage number 19 today. Uh, it's very much out of our control now, as you can see. Grant Thomas lies three minutes behind the favourites. Uh, Rog Leek has got a good gap to both of the guys, to be fair. He's a minute and a half in front of Fuglesang, given that we've got three flat stages to go. Uh, the penultimate stage is a time trial, so that could change things if we get that right, I suppose. But what I'm trying to say, really, is that now it's out of our control. Uh, Egan Bernal has moved up to fourth place. Uh, Mikhail Kvatkovsky has taken Bernal's old place. They've switched places between fourth and seventh. Carapaz, though, retained eighth place. Uh, in the general classification. But we lead every other single classification. Uh, mathematically, nobody can beat Kvatkovsky now for that best climber classification. We also lead the points classification with Kvatkovsky. Uh, we might be part of the breakaway of Kvatkovsky today to try and get some valuable points as well, given that there'll be a few sprints, obviously, at the end of the stages uh, that are upcoming. And the Ungaroid classification, we're going to work with uh, keeping that lead for Bernal. It's the first time he's had the lead of the Young Rider classification, all of the Tour de France. But it's fair to say, much like all of these classifications, it's only between two people now. I mean, that best climate classification is decided. It's only really between two for that points classification, much like the Young Rider classification. In the team's classification, unless it's a complete disaster, uh, we have certainly won that. And in the compatibility classification, we're not too bothered. Um, but if Kvatkovsky is part of today's breakaway, he will secure that as well. A relatively flat stage though today in stage number 19. Um, it is very much out of our control. But we'll try our best at least to try and uh, provide an upset in stage number 19 which is upcoming. Here we go. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbours no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. It'll be important to pick up maximum points to consolidate our top spot for the green jersey. This stage is of no interest to us. Keep cosy inside the peloton. Have a good stage. Hello and welcome to all. Unless the sprinter's teams have been weakened and are unable to chase down breakaway riders, Sprinters should feature prominently at the finishing line in Champagnol. Here we are then, stage number 19, completely out of our control now, but there are two objectives today, and that is for Mikhail Kvatkovsky to retain the lead of the points classification, and also for Egan Bernal to retain the lead of the um, young rider classification. Of course, we hold three different um, jerseys. We've got um, the green jersey, the white jersey and indeed um, the polka dot jersey. Right, Kvatkovsky is broken away. That's what we want to do to get some points in the sprints, or at least that first sprint. Um, and we might as well just get uh, a few of our other guys to attack. Again, we've got nothing to lose now. In fact, maybe we'll just leave it to um, Chris Froome. But really, again, we just want to protect our leaders. Um, Castro Viejo, you protect Garant. Thomas, but uh, okay. as I've said, really not much we can do in today's stage. Um, it's out of our control, but we'll try and get some sprints, uh, try and get some points in the sprints. Let's have a quick listen to the sports director. 
Well, there you go. We've just been told to enjoy ourselves, and the peloton is uh, starting to catch up. So it seems that there's definitely been an update in the last few days on the game. Uh, the peloton rides a lot harder and isn't caught napping, so... Interesting. We're going to have to let Kvatkovsky go back into the pellet, I think, because 13 seconds is just, well, it's far too small a gap. Um, well, actually, the uh, no, the pellet is uh, staying together. The end of the tour, guys. The sprinters will be less fresh, and there is more likelihood that a large punch and senseless breakaway will be created. Well, there you go. You heard it. Um, we're just going to get Kvatkovsky to follow attacks, I think. There's no more escapees. Well, they've gone again. Chris Froome's going to follow it, and so are we. Seems like that second burst of a breakaway is working a little bit better at the moment. We'll see how it goes. The Peloton's just riding hard at the moment. Given that we used a lot of energy early, it's not really helping. But Chris Froome has broken away, as uh, promised. But it's not really much of a breakaway, is it? Again, Kvatkovsky's not got a lot of energy. So there's not a lot we can do here. Apart from just uh, see if the Peloton catches back up uh, and then ultimately follow attacks when they occur. But this looks, uh, well, it looks a little bit better, but ultimately the Peloton are just behind. So unless they think, oh, sod it, we'll let these guys go, which is doubtful because Kvatkovsky is well placed in the standings. Makes me wonder whether it's because uh, Mikal is well placed that perhaps they feel the need to follow this. I'm not too sure. Um, but I think we ought to just sit tight, really, for the moment and... Uh, Take control of Grant Thomas, probably, and then automatically Kvatkovsky and Chris Froome will react to any attacks that take place. Well, this is quite comical, actually. I've, I've obviously told uh, Kvatkovsky and uh, Chris Froome to follow attacks. But ultimately, what's happening is is that people just keep attacking and then, um, and then they get caught up. So Kvatkovsky and Froome are just using way too much energy. There's no point. Seems to be absolutely no breakaway today. Uh, a few guys have lost ground nobody really significant not really too surprising uh well there's a bit of a breakaway now and you can bet your bottom dollar because i've just changed the settings uh for Froome and kvatkovsky not to follow the breakaway that uh, it's not going to happen one, uh, one typical typical one minute for the breakaway well there's no good following it now we've had our chance um i guess we're just gonna have to try and try anything that happens i suppose and, and try and take advantage but at the moment um it's very much a bunch peloton. Maybe try and tell the peloton to ride at a high tempo. But there's not much we can do. As I've said before, really, it's all out of our control today. Well, the breakaway's been broken again. There's been several attempts at a breakaway. And uh, it just hasn't worked. So, there is two points up for grabs on this climb. And why not? He leads the climbing classification. So, we might as well show the moose boss with Mikhail Kvatkovsky. Castro Viejo has lost touch. Um, he's just too tired out. And I think Chris Froome is going to suffer the same fate. It's been a bit of a while since we've won a climb with Kvatkovsky. So nice to win it. Um, yeah, Chris Froome's starting to drop back. I mean, we might as well consume the feed, I guess. But to be honest, it just shows it's not really much of a tiring stage. Yet... Uh, you know, those guys are still losing energy amazingly. But, you know, it's a really tough tour. And only the best will, will keep it up. And I think we'll see over the next few uh, kilometres that a lot of guys will start to struggle. But for the moment, um, we'll just tell Kvatkovsky to wait for the following group. Get them to consume red gel as well now. And Froome and Castro Viejo as well. All good. And, uh, yeah, I'll update you guys when we get to the sprint. It's going to be very important, particularly in a bunched peloton. So, five kilometres away from the first of two sprints today. Galloping tried to get a breakaway, but as you can see, it's just not working. The breakaway is not working today. So, everyone's going for it in this sprint. Um, obviously, we have the green jersey at the moment. We could lose it to uh, Sagan here, I think. What's the gap? Uh, 241 for us. Sagan's got 218. So not quite. Only 20 points up for gap, uh, up for grabs here. But it's still good to, to keep an eye on it. Set a good pace with Mikhail Kvatkovsky. Obviously, we've picked up our new feed in the interim. Good to put some pace in. Just put some pace in. I don't think that everyone's going to be bothered about this sprint, obviously. 
But for us, it's going to be very important with that uh, green jersey to protect. So we're going to set some pace here with Mikal. Not bothered about anybody else at all, to be honest, getting uh, any points in the group. Uh, we'll just tell him to... Yeah, persist without limit. That's absolutely fine. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Chris Froome. Persist without limits. Same for uh, Castro Viaja. We really shouldn't worry about those guys, to be honest. But there's a good push at the start, uh, at the head of this group. Uh, Sagan's starting to push as well. It's all about taking the most points possible here. Oh, well, we might have been caught napping by him. We might have been caught napping. We certainly have been. That was a real shock. Hopefully he doesn't take this uh, first place, but he does. And he takes seven points off us. Hmm. Caught napping a little there. As you can see, the Peloton not fussed at all about that. Only four guys who seriously went for it. No surprise that Trontin, Van Aert and uh, Sagan are second, third, fourth and fifth. I don't hope uh, Dennis gets a point. Great. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we lose a little bit of ground to Sagan. But still not too bad. A few climbs. Um, and then we've got the final sprint. I don't think this stage is going to offer too much. It's just all about keeping that green jersey. Well, we're going to try something here. Why not? There's 24 kilometres left. We're going to try a bit of an attack. Bernal's attacked up ahead, as you can see. And we're just going to give this a go. We've got a descent coming up. As you can see, the Peloton, I mean, it's crazy how uh, the Peloton are catching up to this. But Bernal, Kvatkowski, both in there. Uh, Grant Thomas, Carapaz and Dennis not really interested there. But uh, Bernal, the lead rider, always looks weird. No, you're not coming, protect, coming to protect me. Um, always looks weird, doesn't it, when um, a rider's in a different jersey. As you can see, Bernal in that uh, white jersey now. That's what threw me off a little bit. But the Peloton's still close behind. Again, there's not a lot we can do here. Just trying a few things. Let's try and tire our uh, opponents out. But the Peloton's so close. 13 seconds behind. There's only us two in this little breakaway now. But there's 20 kilometres to go. Be good to set a good pace with both of our guys. And if not, we can recuperate a little bit. Of that. Obviously, we've got all of our feed left. Yeah, obviously, Benali's ahead of Kovatkovsky in the standings now. The Peloton's so close, though. We without any... Unless it's completely dramatic here, I really doubt uh, anything will happen. Really can't see anything happening. The Peloton will just catch straight back up now. The riders are all back together. Everything will be played out in the final kilometers. Yep, yeah, well, again, not really much going on. We'll uh, fast forward, but I'll, I'll keep talking to you while uh, this happens. Again, not really much going on. We'll consume our feed uh, in a little while. But this was expected, really, not to be such an interesting stage. I mean, eight kilometres to go. Right, so we'll consume uh, all of our... Da, 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 da. In fact, we'll leave it a bit. Uh, no, we, we won't. We'll consume it now. Consume our blue gel. But uh, we'll set a high tempo. I think that's the best thing to do here. Just to tire some of the guys out. Try and get as much a split finish as we possibly can. We'll certainly give it a go. The one guy who's broken away hasn't worked again. As you can see, it uh, seems to be a downhill at the finish, which will definitely help help us out. But equally, it will help everybody else out too. I think the lead has blown up. So we're quite happy to inherit that lead. And Chris Froome, six minutes off. He's uh, completely lost it. Castro Viejo, nine minutes off. We'll consume our red gel soon too. But we've got two different um, angles here. We've obviously got... Oh, it might have been best to consume our red gel first rather than our blue gel. Hmm. Possibly. Oh, well. What's done is done. Fifty points available for the winner here. It's going to be so crucial. And it's always over so quickly. That's what always amazed me with these sprints. Um, so we'll get everyone to consume their red gel. Always goes so quick, this does. Okay, I'll consume a 
Need to set a good pace. Consume all of that feed with Kavatkovsky. Not going to have much blue energy left here, are we? So two and a half left. Just set a good pace. Really, the main man to beat here is Sagan. We'll get everyone to attack again. Doesn't hurt. Why not? And this is where it's uh, all going to kick off. Here we go. Not enough blue energy for Kavatkovsky. That's going to be the problem. We'll see, though. It all ends very quickly. Danny's doing well. Right, come on, Kavatkovsky. You're not going to have much blue energy left. You might blow up before the end. But I'll tell you what, it's not looking too bad. Come on, son. Can we win the stage? Oh, it's going to be close. No! You bloody... Ah! Sagan's won it from under our... Ah! Sagan's won it from under our nose. It looks so good. We maybe went 0.1 of a kilometre too early there. Oh, dear. It was close. Didn't quite happen for us. Good to see a lot of our riders well placed there. But ultimately, nothing really changes. For the general classification. We might have lost that uh, green jersey though. Sagan came through the middle and won. We finished fifth, did we, in the end? I think we might well have lost that green jersey today. We'll have to see. As you can see, a bunch finished there. Let's see what the results are. So, the stage winner. The best sprinter, really. Peter Sagan wins the stage. I think he won both sprints. Did very well there. General classification still Rodglick. Sagan, as you can see, takes the points classification off us. So again, an objective not met. Oh well. We lose the green jersey, but we still have the polka dot one. And we still have that white jersey. So two stages now to go. A time trial and then a very quick stage to end it all off. Well done, lads. You rode a very good stage today. Finishing in the top five, even though the stage didn't suit us, is extremely satisfying. We lose the green jersey. It's not great. Goodness me, I thought our guys finished uh, a lot higher than that. But in the 50s, it doesn't matter, obviously, because everyone finished in the same second, uh, up to 80th place. A few of the Astana riders out there, which is a shock. Um... Best climber, Kvatkovsky takes two points. Sagan takes... Oh, wow. I'm not surprised he took the green jersey. In fact, I think that might take us out of the race for that jersey. Winning both sprints, that 50 points is massive. Really is. And he is the best sprinter, ultimately. Uh, young rider classification, nothing changes there. Team classification, again, nothing changes. So, general classification. Nothing changes, really. Chris Froome probably drops a little bit. Yeah, drops by four places. Best climber. Uh, that remains with us. Points classification. Eh, it's not over yet, to be fair. 18 points is the gap at the top. Young Rider. Again, Bernal keeps that lead. Team classification we lead. And uh, Kvatkowski leads the competitivity classification. So really, there's two objectives for the last few stages. To miraculously try and win... The uh, yellow jersey, I can't see it. I really can't see it, but I suppose you never know with this time trial. Um, and to try and get the points classification back. Again, I can't see it, but who knows. A fairly uneventful stage, though, there. We've retained the lead of the young rider classification, so a recovery bonus of two. And uh, now it's time for what could change things, potentially. It's that time trial. Today it's a time trial which is important for the general classification because it's a route for climbers. It's important to go all out on this time trial to stay well placed in the general classification. Let's be clear, our chances of getting into the top 10 are slim. Try to limit the damage. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. I'm looking forward to this, something a little bit different. Uh, it seems that there's not really much hope for in this, in this time trial, but it's unpredictable. Who knows what could happen? And uh, tomorrow you will see that time trial. We'll do it in full as well. The full 36 kilometres um, to get a, good, a, a well 
a well, a, not a well managed video, a, a well timed video, a, a video that's got, I, I don't know what rubbish I'll come out with sometimes, but a decent length video, that's what I was trying to go for the first time, but if you've enjoyed that, a bit of a short stage today, I appreciate that, but again, even shorter the next two stages, a flat stage, never the most interesting, but this next stage could be, it could throw everything on its head. Who knows? Could turn everything on its head. Um, but if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well, and subscribe for daily Tour de France content. But until tomorrow, thank you for your company, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.